everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Becker Designs. This week, I am focusing on this really fun stamp set called Awesome Otters from the new Celebration catalog. It is free with a $50 purchase, um, but it's only available through the end of February 2022. I have four projects total this week, so make sure that you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, and check all of them out. All right, so we're going to make this one. This card has lots of elements, things I've brought in from other die sets, other stamp sets, and I will let you know as we go along with our call, there's also a PDF there on my blog. If you want to click the link and hop back over there, you'll find it. It's a free PDF. All right, the first thing we're going to do is make our card base. I am using the Gentle Waves stamp set. This is a background stamp, and we're going to stamp it on the back of our um, card front. I have a piece of of balmy blue cardstock that I've cut in half at four and a fourth and scored at five and a half. Now you'll notice the waves are going this way and I, I want them to go up and down. So I'm actually gonna stamp it twice to get it to fit on my card front. So let's just take our card and put it down here. I'm gonna use the magnets to hold it in place. I'm using my grid paper to make sure it's straight. And then I will lay it down about like that. Actually, let's do let's do it like this. I did it differently on the original, but we'll do from like dark up to light. I don't think it really matters because it's in the background. You don't see much of it, but let's do it that way this time. All right, so I'm going to take Balmy Blue ink and ink it up. I have it on my Stamparatus. That's going to make it a whole lot easier to stamp and to line up. All right, so now I need it to go up a little bit further. So I'm gonna take my card and I'm gonna line that up right there where that line is. Let me overlap it just a little bit. And now we're gonna take that and re-ink it and stamp it on the top. All right, there we go. So we've got the full front covered. Let's move that out of the way. Let's stamp our little otter. We're gonna actually stamp him twice. We're gonna stamp him on a, plant, a piece of balmy blue cardstock, um, kind of floating off to the side. And then we're gonna stamp him again on basic white cardstock. And we're gonna actually color him, um, not on the balmy blue cardstock, but on the basic white cardstock. All right, so I'm gonna have him kind of diagonal like that. And the reason I'm doing that here is so that we'll have these water lines and see those little hairs? That way I don't have to cut those out from the white. It'll already be on the cardstock. When I cut the white piece out and glue it down to the blue piece, those little details will be there. I've chosen cinnamon cider to color him and I'm gonna take my light cinnamon cider and I'm gonna color him in I'm gonna go all the way around with my light and I'm gonna leave his belly white. I'm gonna go all the way around and color him in. We have lots of options to color your otter. We have new skin tone stamp and blends coming out in February that would also work really well here, depending on the color you would like your otter to be. Now we have a bullet end on one end of our marker and a brush tip on the other. I like the bullet end when I am working in small spaces like this. I feel like I have a little bit more control than with that brush tip. All right, now I'm gonna take that dark cinnamon cider and I'm just gonna go around and kind of give a shadow line right here all the way around his belly. That. Actually, I want to color in his nose also. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with my light and I'm just going to fan that dark color out towards the outside of his body, blending it all the way out. There we go. All right. For his fish, I'm gonna use pumpkin pie. And 
and there we have it. All right, so now I mentioned we're going to fussy cut him. There aren't any dies. So get your smallest, sharpest pair of scissors. And a lot of times I recommend staying on the outside of that line, leaving what I call a white cloud around him. But we are going to glue him down on this blue paper, matching those black lines. So really, you want to stay almost to the inside of that black line, not quite all the way, maybe right in the middle. You don't want any of the white showing on the outside of the black line. Okay. Go all the way around. So see all the things that I'm cutting off, the watermark and the little hairs will all be there when we glue him down onto the balmy blue piece. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Tombow liquid glue and we'll glue him down right there. And see all those little details? Suddenly, there they are again, the little hairs, the little marks, but he's colored in. All right, let's set that aside to dry. I have taken my stitched rectangle dies and cut out a frame from the In Good Taste designer series paper. I'm going to bring over a piece of grid paper. I wanted to make the brown in my frame match the brown on my otter. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my cinnamon cider ink and a blending brush and just add a little bit of color, a little bit of brown to this frame to make it a little more matchy. This is a step you could probably skip, but I really wanted all of it to, to coordinate really well. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we'll bring him back over so he can stick. And I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. Let's see, we'll grab the mini dimensionals. And I think I will use my foam adhesive sheet. And I'm gonna cut some strips for my frame. Okay. So we'll put these on here. And this frame is a little bit smaller than this balmy blue, blue piece. I'll have all the measurements for you over on that PDF. You could use regular dimensionals. I really like our foam sheets because you can cut it, cut a dimensional into whatever size and shape that you need. All right, we're gonna put that. Let's see if I can get it centered. All right. There. Okay. All right, now I have a lot of little pieces here. I have cut out a wood fence from the Horizon dies, as well as a strip of Granny Apple Green grass. Both of those are from the Horizon dies. And we're gonna put, let's see, let's do our, our fence first. Okay, we're gonna put that little fence right there. And then we'll put the grass in front. And then I've cut out a couple of fish to match his little fish that he's holding. We're gonna tie those to the fence like someone's catch of the day. We'll do that one like that. And then we'll do this one like that. And then of course we have to add some string that they're tied to. So this is linen thread. The fish are from the Sea, sea Life dies in the annual catalog. A little mini glue dot. Put that right there. All right, I have cut out a label from our message die and we're gonna stamp the sentiment that says, 
you are utterly awesome. I'm going to stamp that right there in pumpkin pie. It's not straight. Let's try it again. There we go. It's easier to stamp and then cut, but I was trying to save a little bit of time for the video. So I cut first. All right, let's put that right there. How stinking cute is this guy? All right, now let's bring back over our um, card base and I'm gonna cut some more of these foam adhesive sheets into squares, big fat dimensionals. Don't you love it? This is not going anywhere. It's going to be nice and secure. All right, let's bring that and put that right there. And there you have it. How fun and cute is that? Don't you love it? All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Hop back over to my blog, get that free PDF. And I hope you'll give this a try yourself. Remember, this uh, um, awesome Otter Stamp Set is only available through the end of February 2022. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.